Hey, what's going on guys? Semwin Ian here, and today we're going to be testing out the Rad Volcano Core here. This one does grow and does extinguish. We're going to go ahead, uh, I don't know if we should try all of them or not. I am going to try the shield one though, because that one sounds pretty interesting. Alright, so we're going to start off with our first volcano, oops, at the top of this mountain here. I think we'll put the uh, shield volcano here. I don't know what it, oh, oh, okay, it's already spicy. It's doing quite a lot. Looks like it's giving out Corium, almost. Alright, while, while we're waiting on that, okay, it's actually spreading, what the heck. That's wild. Alright, uh, let me go over here real quick. And then we're going to put one over here. This one's going to be the regular core. It's the one that does grow and does extinguish. That one's going crazy already. Look at that. It kind of gives off that, like, nuclear explosion vibe. All right. Oh, there's our second one. Okay, yeah, that one's spicy. As you can see, this one's actually shooting out, like... So that one's going to be a lot more spicy than the other one. As you can see, like, look at that. It's actually growing pretty quickly, too. Unlike the other one. Which is, you know, it's alright, but it's not nearly doing as much as that one. That one's already taken over, like, a three-fourths of the mountain. This one's just like slowly like eating everything away. Which I guess that makes sense. Look at that. Beautiful. <laughs> you can really see that one over there. That one's crazy. That means we have a new lava type. Volcanic lava. Is that volcanic lava now? Interesting. I wish we had a bucket for that. I'd totally place it down. Volcanic lava I thought would look a lot more orange than it does. Why is... Wait, wait, wait. Volcanic lava. And then we have that. Why is... This? So this must be the radioactive volcanic lava. No, this one's the regular volcanic lava. This looks like cream cheese. Or string cheese, oh lordy. Maybe not any kind of cheese. Okay, yeah, that drops different, too. That's pretty interesting. Cheddar cheese, that's what kind of cheese it looks like. The shield volcano is quite pretty ma quite massive, though. I bet it's just going to keep growing and, like, pouring more out. Oh my, this one's, wow, okay, this one's actually doing quite a lot, actually. You can actually see the core, or, yeah, you actually just see it poking out there for a second. That's pretty interesting. So it's actually making itself a little mountain. That's pretty rad, man. <laughs> I'm pretty sure these are radioactive, too. Well, obviously, I guess since they're a rad volcano. I wonder if they can spawn naturally or if it is caused by a nuclear explosion. There's no way that doesn't cause radio... Oh, there we go. Those cause radiation. I was going to say, there's no way it doesn't. Alright, let's expose a regular volcano core to an explosion. Okay, we're going to go with the... Does grow and does extinguish one. And then we're going to get a nuka grenade. And set it off right next to it to see if we can actually create a rad volcano. Maybe not right next to it. We have that there. 
That is okay. That track shoots pretty out quite a lot already. So we're gonna toss that over there. I hope that's far enough away. To actually not be problematic. But close enough to actually do what we needed to do. So we're gonna have to do it a little closer. Yep, yep. It's not radiating it. Maybe we need something stronger. Hmm. Interesting. So how do rad volcanoes start existing then? Being slapped by radiation doesn't actually radiate it. Dry one that close. I don't think that's going to go well for us. Yep, it's not changing. Hmm. Maybe we should put a uh, barrel of radioactive barrel this here. Okay. Also not doing it. Right on top. So the question remains, how does one of these comes in how, how does one of those come into existence? You think that would do it because that's radioactive too. It's truly one of the biggest questions of the, our time. All right, let's see here. Oh, we have a Sarbon, but let's see if that causes it to ex like change. Yep. Oh my! Look at that. That is beautiful. This truly is the end times. That is mass. Oh my. I think this is actually just going to wipe the whole entire thing off the map. So we better get a one last good look at the volcanoes. Yeah, you got some rare earth elements pulling up in the function. This is a pretty nice volcano. It's gotten a lot taller. I, th I think it's growing. I didn't think the volcano was that it would actually grow. Look at that. Look at that. It's got fallout going everywhere. That's beautiful. That is that is great. Patrolling the Mojave almost makes you wish for a nuclear winter. <laughs> I'm going to see if that irradiates it. Because if it doesn't, then I I just am at the loss for my theory here. Wow. This has also gotten, has, has gotten pretty dang big. Look at that. The whole mountainside is just lava. There's our Sarbamba. Or I was off to it anyway. It's all dust now. I can't see anything. I'm stuck. I'm stuck in the void. Yeah, that is pretty dang smoky. I mean, I guess you wouldn't actually survive that, so... Okay, let's see here. It's not really interesting. It hasn't taken anything yet. I'll do this one then. All right, we're going to do it at the base of the mountain here, which I think would be close enough for it to, like radiate everything but not close enough to wipe everything off the map if that makes sense so we're gonna put it right here because i know for a fact this works i don't know maybe either that doesn't work or something else all right let's see here one detonator oh the whole thing was lagging there for a second there we go Just start taking stuff out soon. Okay, that one actually works. I don't know why the solar bomb it doesn't. All right, let's see if it irradiates our volcano core here. Which I think it should be in the blast radius enough to actually be radiated. Oh, I swear to God, if it's not, I'm going to be mad. Very good, very good. 
Very good. Radiate my core, please. Radiate, dang it. In careful consideration, I don't think they can be irradiated. I don't know, though. It, oh, it worked. It worked. It's radiated. So it can. So you could a indeed actually irradiate a volcano core. I We've learned so much today, ladies and gentlemen. Anyway, if you guys enjoyed this video, please like it, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.